So IIT Roorkee has released the official GATE 2025 detailed data. Yes, that means not only the cutoff or number of aspirants appeared, but how many qualified, what students got, uh, you know, in like suppose how many students got the marks in the range 50 to 60, 30 to 40, okay, state wise data, gender wise data, category wise data, everything has been released, uh, you know, by IIT Roorkee and I have collected that data and important points which are necessary for aspirant to know I'm going to talk. Okay, you will be surprised. I have already made videos regarding to that how competitive a gate examination is and in this video, you're also going to listen the shocking reality of the gate examination because what many aspirants think definitely, it's a highly, highly competitive examination. Let's say what the numbers say and it's not only gate 2025. The trend is follows almost every year, the similar trend lines. Okay, so let's see what the data speaks. Okay, so firstly, okay, uh, you know, I have just, I'm just showing you how many students registered and how many students appeared. From there itself, you get a significant drop because many just fill up the form. Okay, uh, they, but, but they could not prepare or they could not continue the preparation for some reason and they don't even appear in the examination, right? So see, uh, you know, uh, definitely if you talk about the registered as well as appeared candidates, the number has uh, increased. Uh, uh, for EC, EE and computer science, I would say significantly increased. Okay, for data science also it's increased, but for mechanical and uh, civil the numbers drop, but slight, as a very slight drop. Okay, so now let us focus on this number. How many students appeared? Okay, registered, forget. How many actually went to the exam hall to write the examination? Their performance is more important. How many of them performed how much? Okay, so now how many qualified and what is the percentage qualification? Now have a look into the next thing I have included. How many qualified? See, EC, 81,000 approximately students written the examination, only 14,000 qualified. EE, 67,700, approx 12,000 qualified. Okay, computer science, 1,70,000 students have written the examination, only 27,000 qualified, approx numbers. Civil, around 80,000 appeared, only 15,000 qualified. Okay, mechanical, 62,000 appeared, only 10,000 qualified. Data science, 57,000 appeared, 11,000 qualified. And if you see this in terms of percentage, okay, it's roughly around 17 to 18 percentage. It's roughly around 17 to 18 percentage. Okay. And this is not, you know, the people who have got really very good marks. This is just qualified students. And what is the qualifying mark? Let's have a look into that data as well. What do I mean by qualifying marks? Qualifying mark. These are what are the qualifying marks. See, for EC and AA 25. Okay. For computer science, paper was easy and many number of aspirants 29.2. For civil also 29.2. For mechanical, this time the cutoff went very high 35. And data uh, science 29. Okay. So see, approx, you know, let, let's take a rough number now. 1 lakh students, suppose if writing the examination, only 17 to 18,000 get the qualifying marks. And let me again tell you, just this qualifying marks, okay, will, you know, if you just get the qualifying marks, okay, you will officially be a gate scorecard holder, but you will really not get any PSU and neither you are going to get any good college. Okay, like IITs or good NITs, you are not going to get a this mark. Okay, that is very much clear. You are just officially a gate qualified aspirant, but such marks are really of not much use for any good aspirant. Okay, but see the surprising data is 82% students fail to get even this much. Okay, now that, what does it suggest? Is it really highly competitive examination? If you are, you know, very clear in the basics of maths and aptitude itself, Without even studying technical, you can still qualify the examination. Or max to max maths aptitude plus one technical subject can make you qualify the examination. Okay, that's what it requires to qualify examination. Because if you see the weightage of maths and aptitude itself is 28 marks total, 13 plus 15. Okay, but see, but see the reality. Okay, that means something is not going good. Okay, and the assumption that many aspirants have, it's a very competitive examination. Okay. Let's talk more about that in detail. Now see, I have now presented, okay, the marks distribution, okay, as per the range. Okay, that means now, suppose 81,000 students have total written the EC examination. How many students got marks in which range? See, 1,600 people have got below zero. Negative. What do you understand by this data? That they simply went to the exam hall, they did nothing. Even if they do one correct question, uh, leave others, they should get positive marks. Okay, they just blindly went to the examination and uh, randomly they tick mark the answer. That's it. Okay, without any preparation, without any basics. 
Okay, forget preparation, dear. Okay, even if you do one aptitude, basic math, aptitude, many questions will be simple. Okay, still you are in the positive zone. So see, okay, how much number is in negative. Now, uh, similarly, it's not only for EC. See, for every branch, there are several candidates who could not even score a zero, below zero. Okay, so rather than positive, negative. Okay, now, uh, how many students score between 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30? Officially, the complete data is given. But now, if you look into any of the branch, if you look into any of the branch, what is important here is the maximum number of students you will fall in this bracket. You will see 0 to 10 or 10 to 20. Okay, for any of the branch, like for EC 10 to 20, maximum number of students. For EE, it is maximum in 0 to 10. For computer science, again 0 to 10. Uh, civil, uh, 10 to 20. Okay, mechanical, again 10 to 20. And data science, 10 to 20. The maximum students are in the range of the marks 10 to 20 or 0 to 10. Okay, and, and, the next higher, you know, if you are going to see the next higher number is 20 to 30. Okay, that means, you know, where is the majority of the data? Is the majority of the data is the data who have secured marks in the range 0 to 10 out of this, okay, or 10 to 20. Okay, what does that mean? Have the students really prepared? If they had really prepared, it's not, it's gate, okay, maybe a little difficult. Honestly, subject wise gate is not very difficult, but yeah, many subjects are combined. That makes it a little bit, you know, challenging. You have to complete many subjects on time. But let's say if a student honestly prepared two or three subjects also, okay, then also he should not get below 10 marks or below 20 marks. Na? So what does this tell you? That if maximum number of students are in the range of 0 to 10 or 10 to 20, they are the ones who hardly prepared anything, who hardly prepared anything are that students, sorry, are those students, your competition, think, you decide, okay, the data speaks, okay, rather than I speaking or anybody else speaking, the data is the best thing in the world right now, the data speaks, you decide, okay, looking into this data, is GATE really a highly competitive examination? Majority of the students are falling in the range of 0 to 10 marks or 10 to 20 marks, either of these two, you look into any branch, okay, not that means though are the students not even prepared maybe two or three subjects as well okay why are you even counting them in your race now where does the actual race starts of course the better the marks the better of your chance of psu or top iits or top nits okay so if you really want you know something meaningful okay something meaningful okay your target at least has to be 40 beyond Okay, so that at least you get a top NIT at least with some good specialization. Okay, if your target is IITs, 50 plus. Okay, top IITs and PSUs, 60 plus. That is usually the trend. See, again, PSU depends on the number of vacancies. If there are good number of vacancies, okay, then even 50 plus is sufficient. So, okay, for IIT and PSU, 50 plus. If by chance less vacancies, then for PSU, 60 plus. Okay, but what I mean is for something... Okay, for something, you know, decent to achieve, your target is 40 plus. Now, let's do a rough calculation. 1700, 600, how much it is? 2300 plus add another 200, 2500 plus 50. That means approx 2500 only. Approx 2500 students out of, out of how much? Out of 81,000. Not even 5%. Not even 4%. However, and that, that is just one branch calculation I have done. The numbers will be roughly the same for all. Okay. So what your really comp what your really competition was, suppose if there was an EC aspirant of GATE 2025, okay, the real competition was among these two, you know, starting from here, 2,500 students. Okay. For electrical, it was roughly some 2,200. Okay. And it's going to be similar. So guys, what your actual competition is, except CS, of course, CS, more number of aspirants. But even in CS also, if you see, with more number of aspirants also, okay, roughly how much is the competition? 5,000, you know, then this is 7,500, 87, approx 9,000 or 9,500. It's not the competition of 2 lakh students in computer science or something of that kind. Okay, 1 lakh 70,000 appeared, but the actual competition in CS also, highly competitive branch right now is 9,000. Okay, if you are an EC or EE aspirant, so your competition was only among 2000 or 2500 students. Fighting among 2000 or 2500 students is not at all really a big competition. So let us, you know, if you are preparing honestly for GATE, okay, don't call it as a highly competitive examination. It is not. 
because your competition is the ones if you are a serious aspirant i assume you are preparing you are you know attending classes you are watching you are solving pyqs okay your competition is actually with those who are preparing okay your competition is not with those who just filled up the form your competition is not with those who just prepared one or two subjects okay your competition is not for those is not with those who are just going to coaching institute for fun okay but not studying later on just to time pass just to show to the parents they are uh, they have some offline or online coach purchase no your competition with the students who are actually preparing and the number of students actually preparing is if i again stick to eco double branch is 2000 to 2500 if competition slightly increases next year 3000 let us say what is there what is there so it is not at all a very competitive examination make sure okay so now uh, you know branch wise i have also compiled the data and put it into a bar graph so that i show you i was telling you na major now you see the bars okay the table uh, rather than table you see the bars okay you know see 35000 26000 majority of the students in the range 0 to 10 10 to 20 okay but as i told you if you really have to achieve something good see how minimal the numbers are now see i think bar graph is more indicative for you how minimal the numbers are this is with respect to ec okay you go to double e okay again see from 40 beyond how minimal the numbers are that's it again the bar highest in 0 to 10 and then next in 10 to 20 okay next in 10 to 20 you see here okay in fact the bar of less than 0 is higher than that of 30 to 40 also that means there are more number of students getting negative marks rather than 30 marks or 35 marks you prepare what is there you prepare decently four five subjects you can get you know with some mistakes also you can get 30 plus marks okay but what is there many students who are getting less than zero marks so just went the exam for fun and randomly ticked anything you know a b c d a b c d just guess work happened and maximum guess went wrong that is what it is okay see again same story for computer science the highest bar you see in the 0 to 10 10 to 20 and again you see the number of aspirants scoring negative marks okay is you know more than the number of students uh, you know having 30 to 40 now computer science means large sample space na okay so large sample space always speaks better the trend is still the same okay maximum students in these two bars majority okay and then the number of students getting more than so they getting less than 0 marks that data is more than the number of students getting more than 30 marks see okay this is a large sample space so this data looks like more perfect na okay same story for data science okay similar story for civil similar story for mechanical ask yourself can you do this okay if in case you are any time disappointed or demotivated that how can i fight in such a competitive examination okay always go and look into the data whatever your branch is na guys take up the screenshot save it with you any time you are demotivated i guess these numbers are going to boost your motivation okay this is mechanical this is civil this is data science this is computer science this is electrical this is electronics save the data save the screenshot and everything i compiled in the table as well okay any time you feel okay whether i can do it or not look into this numbers you will remind yourself okay anyways i have to fight only between some 2 to 3000 students what is there i will do it what is there i will do it 2 to 3000 is not a big number is actually not a big number it's a small number considering a national level examination right so guys that for that reason i made up this video so that you know i can give you that message once again that it is not really a competitive examination it is an examination which requires efforts and a systematic preparation systematic preparation where you not only uh, watch or attend the offline or online class but at the same time after attending any class you revise the notes on your own and at least do pyqs and yes of course a uh, parallelly keep giving test of course the major role of test series will more be active in the last 2 3 months but parallelly if you keep giving topic wise tests it is more beneficial for you okay it requires a systematic and dedicated preparation okay that's it it's not a rocket science examination many people crack the examination in for the in 4 to 5 months of preparation okay so i did it in my third year of engineering my preparation tenure was almost around 5 months or so okay and serious uh, preparation time was roughly 4 months or less than that okay it's it's a crackable it's a doable example uh, examination only thing is don't look into the surroundings don't look into what people say because you know how you get this data it's a competitive examination maybe your serious might have told how you get this information that uh, it's a tough examination maybe those who near seniors who could not crack the examination they must have told you 
don't listen to the ones who have not cracked the examination listen to the ones listen to the topper success story many topper success story available on the om institute youtube channel as well not only toppers we have uploaded the story not only of uh, you know single digit ranker or double digit ranker we have even uploaded a story of the students who got 500 700 800 rank because at those ranks also you get uh, you know decent colleges listen to every story every student is unique okay but every you know when you listen to every success story you will get one common thing yes they prepared, they were honest in the preparation, they revised the notes, they have done PYQs and some test series. Okay, one, these are some common facts that you are going to find in most of the topper success story. That is what this exam demands. Okay, so don't call it as an exam where thousands or lakhs of students are fighting, no. Okay, if your branch is ECWE, some two to three thousand students are actually fighting for the examination. Actually, don't count the ones who have filled the form. Don't count simply the, you know, ones who have, you know, uh, preparing for formality, I mean, just going to the class but not doing anything later on. That preparation is going to go nowhere, right? So, that's it uh, for this video from my end. Okay, for any of the upcoming gate aspirant like gate 26, gate 27, etc., I wanted again to give the message that if you are honest and dedicated, it's a very easily crackable examination if you are honest till the end. Many students, they may be very energetic in the beginning but two months or three months down the line, they quit the preparation for some reasons. Okay. In fact, many students in final year, they get suppose placed, they quit the preparation because their dreams are very smaller. They get placed in some very random software company with a very low package, four or five lakhs LPA. They are happy. They leave it. Okay. But gate examination can give you much, much, much beyond that. Okay. So it's being honest and dedicated till the end of the journey, not just starting, not just ending. Don't be very active only in the beginning. Don't be very active only at the end. You have to be active throughout the journey. The exam is yours. Okay, so bye-bye. Thank you. Stay safe. If you got some motivation, do not forget to like the video and subscribe to the Home Institute YouTube channel to keep getting regular such videos. Thank you.